I did that! <laughs> I did that! I just drove to every single one of the lower 48 states in 84 days. Oh my god. Over 15,000 miles. Over a thousand strangers. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is why I knew I had to record this. Uh, what a wild mix of emotions right now. Like, I'm exhausted, and I'm excited, and I'm happy, I'm thrilled, I'm proud of myself, and I'm so tired. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that wasn't so hard. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that wasn't so hard, was it? <laughs> See, that didn't take very long, right? <laughs> an equally, an equally fast and really, really slow 84 days. I mean, it was fast because every single day was an adventure and it was slow because every single day was an adventure. Wow, it, 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 it feel, like I can't even describe how good it feels to be back. As much as I'm sad that the first part of this journey, the road trip part of it, the adventurous part of it is over, it was exhausting. Like, it was thoroughly exhausting. So it's nice to be back. I missed my cats like crazy, so they were so excited to see me. But let's do a quick final recap, and there's gonna be so much more content over the next few months, honestly over the next year, about this journey. But let's finish off strong with a good week 13 recap. So in week 13, I made it to the final states I needed to make it to. That was Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, down to Kentucky, and right back up here to Columbus. I talked to, I believe, I had to check, 137 different strangers, bringing the grand total for this entire project to 1,000 11 strangers. And yes, that leaves me with a very tiny buffer that I didn't plan properly for. To be honest, I, I, that's something that I kind of realized when I was in Iowa, I believe last or two weeks ago, is that I really shouldn't have gone for 20 people in each state. I should have gone for like 25. That would have given me a really nice, healthy buffer, but that's okay. Everything works out the way it's supposed to, and my photos, I know, are not going to be all good. I know for a fact that not all a thousand of the final 1,000 are going to be good photos. I can't even guarantee that every single one's gonna have good life advice. Some people gave me really simple things and also I had a lot of repeats. So, that being said, I think the whole thing tells an even bigger story than any one person's piece of advice in their photo. There will be a lot of really great photos, but not all 1,000 will be really great. And that's okay. So real quick with these highlights, the first one being that I got to see my mom in Chicago for the first time in almost 10 months. That's great. I mean, we, she and I talk almost every week, but it was nice to see her again in person to spend some quality time with each other. Also, while I was in Chicago, I got to see a lot of my really good friends, and that was just lovely. I miss them like crazy. I can't wait to get back to Chicago so I can see them and hang out with them more often. And obviously, a huge highlight is that I hit the thousand person mark and made it home. Made it home safely. Now, something I don't, I didn't really talk about throughout this journey is that I didn't fully expect to come back. Okay, now, now let me explain. I didn't plan on dying. I didn't want to die, but also I was like, life has this really uh, incredible and terrible sense of poetic tragedy. It feels like the worst things tend to happen to people who are like peaking or they're at their best or whatever it might be. And I was like, this is me at my best. I would be the ultimate tragedy. Like someone with a lot of potential, someone who's done a lot of good already, someone who's just getting started in their career of art, dying on their road trip. So <laughs> I say that because I'm so glad I got back. 
like that is a huge highlight that I that I made it back without a scratch on me. Like I didn't get COVID the entire time either. And if I did, I didn't even know, I, I, which would be kind of worse because then I spread it. But I'm almost positive I, n- I did not get COVID the entire time talking to over a thousand strangers. So that's great. Now I will talk a lot more about some of those things in another video I'm going to make, probably not in the next week, but sometime soon about my overall experience driving to every state of the country except for Hawaii and Alaska and talking to a thousand strangers asking them for life advice. I'll talk more about my learnings and things that I just experienced the whole way there. Two quick challenges. Number one being I didn't sleep super well this week for whatever reason. I think I was just nervous and excited also about being wrapped up at the end of the week. And the second one being that I really should have had a better buffer than just 11 people. I really should have had a much larger buffer. I had the film for it. I had the time for it. And I just, I planned poorly. That's it. And again, that's okay. Everything happens the way it's supposed to, but seriously, I shouldn't have a buffer of less than one roll of film. That's going to (laughs) make, it's it's just going to be, well, I guess we're going to find out. I got to see all the photos first. But that, my friends, is a wrap on week 13 and phase one of the journey. Phase one being the fact that I drove to every single state of the country except for Hawaii and Alaska. Phase two and what's coming up next is developing the film, digitizing it, editing, transcribing all of the audio of the people who gave me their life advice, pairing those together, categorizing, analyzing the data, and then turning into a book. Phase two is going to take a very, very, very long time. I plan to take about a month to do the developing, digitizing uh, alone, and then I don't know how much longer to edit all the photos, make sure there's no dust on them, make sure they look great, all of that. And then there's so much more beyond that. But again, I'm going to be posting about all of that throughout the entire journey because that is phase two of this huge project. Phase one was probably the hardest part and the most dangerous part, but phase two is arguably, I think, the more exciting one. The one that's gonna help more people. The one that we've been waiting for. Seeing the photos, hearing the life advice, figuring out patterns in the way that Americans look at how to make the most of life. And then sharing that with all of you. If you have been following along since the beginning, and even if you started following along somewhere in the middle, even if you started following along last week, I can't tell you how much it means to me to have had your support. Like, we did this. It wasn't just me. We did this. I I just, I I feel so fortunate to have had the chance to do this, but I know that I couldn't have done it without every single person, whether you're watching or supporting financially or keeping me in your prayers or whatever it might be. We did this. And it's not over yet, but seriously, to to have gotten to over 15,000 miles of driving everywhere in the country and to have gotten right back to where I started really makes me think about how much support I have in my life. And uh, I don't, I don't have enough, I don't have any words to describe how much that means to me. So thank you. And I hope you'll continue to follow along as we see the results, the fruits of all this labor. It's going to be amazing, and I can't wait to start sharing it with you. So thank you for watching the Week 13 recap. Thank you for watching all the recaps, following along the whole journey. Join me as we go into Phase (laughs) 2.